Hello, Linux enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of immutable Linux distributions. Ever wondered what it's like to have an operating system that's unchangeable? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. An immutable Linux distribution is an operating system that is read-only at its core. That means you can't easily modify the OS. This includes the file system, directories, applications, and even configurations. Even as an administrator, you can't make any modifications to the distribution. If something gets changed in an immutable distro, it's only temporary and reverts when you reboot. That's why these OSCs are called immutable. Why should someone consider an immutable Linux distribution over regular ones? That's because these distros come with some extra perks due to their immutable nature. Let's discover some of them. One of the reasons many regular users prefer Linux to other operating systems is due to its security. But that doesn't mean your Linux system is immune to vulnerability. Immutable distros provide an additional layer of security by preventing unauthorized modifications to the system. This reduces the attack surface for malicious activities, making your computer more secure and resistant to unauthorized changes. Managing and deploying immutable distros is a breeze. Complex upgrade processes and dependency issues become a thing of the past. Updates don't work on the live system and only work after you reboot. This reduces the chance of messing something up during an update, which is a common occurrence. These distributions follow a different approach when updating the OS. Instead of treating the updates package-wise, updates are done throughout the whole OS. In other words, the entire OS is treated as a single indivisible unit. If there's a failure during the update, the system automatically rolls back to the previous state, ensuring a seamless user experience. During the update, the system creates a new image in a separate partition. All the updates take place in that new image while you're using the existing image. In the next boot, you're booted into the new and updated image instead of the old one. You or others can't modify the file system. So unlike a normal Linux distribution, you can't permanently break these operating systems easily. With the file system being unmodifiable, these distros are more reliable. Even if something breaks, it gets fixed upon the next reboot, making them resistant to permanent damage caused by accidental or purposeful alterations. How does software installation and updates work on immutable distros? In the context of immutable distros being read-only, the process of installing applications or updating them follows unique methods. Most, if not all, immutable distros opt for self-contained package systems like Flatpak, AppImages, or Snaps. These packages can be installed and executed without altering the file system. These universal package formats are comprehensive, encompassing all necessary dependencies and libraries. They operate independently of system libraries and remain isolated from the underlying operating system. Some immutable distributions employ a technique called layering for package installation. In this approach, applications are installed on a dedicated layer atop the read-only base system. With layering, access to the distro's package repositories is retained, but the process differs from traditional package managers like APT or DNF. Specialized tools are used to manage packages within the layering system. These layered packages persist through system updates and are incorporated into the updated image after a reboot. An alternative method, observed in certain operating systems, involves installing apps through containers such as DistroBox. This entails placing your software in a container layered on top of the primary distro. This approach enables the installation and use of programs not found in official repositories, providing additional flexibility for users. Immutable distros are more common than expected, exemplified by Steam Deck's use of SteamOS, an immutable Arch Linux-based distribution. Handheld devices also leverage these distros for atomic updates. Beyond consumer electronics, organizations prioritize immutable distros for enhanced security and reliability, particularly in server environments. Developers utilize them to create isolated testing environments, ensuring reproducibility. DevOps engineers benefit from consistent environments, reducing overheads in CI-CD pipelines. In containerized environments like Docker and Kubernetes, immutable Linux distros play a vital role. They ensure the predictability and scalability of applications, 
aligning well with containerization principles. Overall, immutable distros find diverse applications, from gaming consoles to secure servers and containerized deployments. Drawbacks of immutable distros. Considering immutable distros? Let's talk about potential complexities. Firstly, there's a learning curve, especially if you're new to Linux or transitioning from Windows Mac OS. Adapting to the different approach of immutable distros may require refining your workflow. Updates, while reliable, necessitate a system reboot. Some distros allow live updates, but managing separate bootable systems can be challenging. Installing software differs from traditional package managers, especially for non-universal formats, potentially requiring a new distro in a container for a single app. Moreover, system modifications like editing configuration files are restricted. While some distros permit writing to the slash etc. directory, options for customization are limited. Be aware of these nuances before diving into immutable distros. Should you opt for an immutable distro? It depends on your specific needs. Ideal for scenarios demanding high security, reliability, and stability like cloud infrastructures, containerized environments, and servers. Appliances or systems not requiring customization also benefit from these distros. However, for regular desktop use, they might not be the best choice. Simple tasks like software installation are more complex without root file system access. Some advantages of immutable distros exist in regular Linux distros too. BTRFs enables rolling back to previous states, and universal package formats are compatible across various Linux flavors. While more secure in certain aspects, immutable distros are not immune to cyber attacks. To gauge suitability, consider trying an immutable Linux version in a virtual machine, weighing both pros and cons to see if it aligns with your preferences. In conclusion, while immutable Linux distributions may not replace regular systems for everyday users, they offer unique advantages for niche users and organizations. They provide heightened security and reliability, but with that comes the responsibility of adapting to a different workflow. Are immutable Linux distributions the future of Linux? Probably not for regular users, but they certainly carve a space for themselves in specific use cases. If you're curious, give them a try in a virtual machine to see if they align with your preferences. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of immutable Linux distros. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy Linux exploring.